Chapter 37 The Journey to Bjarmaland Eric Bloodaxe now took a share in the realm. He held oversight in Hordaland and the Firths. He took and kept about him a bodyguard. And one spring, Eric Bloodaxe made ready to go to Bjarmaland, and chose him much people for that voyage. Thorolf betook him to this voyage with Eric, and was in the forecastle of his ship, and bare his standard. Thorolf was then taller and stronger than other men, and herein like his father. In that expedition befell much tidings. Eric had a great battle by the river Dvina in Bjarmaland, wherein he won the victory, as is told in the lays about him. And in that voyage he took Gunhilda, daughter of Azur Toti, and brought her home with him. Gunhilda was above all women beautiful and shrewd, and of magic cunning. There was great intimacy between Thorolf and Gunhilda. Thorolf ever spent the winters with Eric, and the summers in freebooting. The next tidings were that Thora, Bjorn's wife, fell sick and died. But some while after, Bjorn took to him another wife. She was named Alof, the daughter of Erling, the wealthy of Oster. They, too, had a daughter named Gunhilda. There was a man named Thorgir Thornfoot. He dwelt at Fenhring of Hordaland, at a place called Asker. He had three sons, one named Hod, another Burgenund, and the third, Otley the Short. Burgenund was beyond all other men tall and strong, and he was grasping and ungentle. Otley the Short was of small stature, square-built, of sturdy strength. Thorgir was a very rich man, a devoted heathen worshipper of magic cunning. Hod went out freebooting and was seldom at home. 